We're at the new exhibition Maria Lashnig Women Power in the Palazzo Pitti. The exhibition is part of the new program featuring two women artists every year in March. Maria Lasnig was a pioneer of the feminist movement in the visual arts. Held in the same esteem as Louise Bourgeois, Joan Mitchell, and Judy Chicago, Lasnig is at the center of Palazzo Pitti's must-see exhibition, Woman Power. The show includes 25 artworks, mostly self-portraits, that trace Lasnig's artistic evolution from her early works in the 1960s up to the first decade of the new millennium. The Austrian artist was awarded the Golden Lion in 2013 at the Venice Biennale and is now being honored here in Florence as the inaugurating artist alongside Platilanelli in the Uffizi Gallery's new yearly program dedicated to highlighting women artists. We spoke to Eike Schmidt, director of the Uffizi Galleries, to learn more about the decision behind choosing Maria Lasnig to represent the modern female artist in the first edition of this new annual program. Well, Maria Lasnig is one of the most important uh, artists uh, of the 20th and beginning of the 21st centuries, and therefore um, uh, we thought uh, of her as a uh, candidate uh, immediately. Also, the idea is really to uh, create a dialogue between the other exponent, the exponent of a female artist of the past, which in this case is Plotina Nelli, uh, the Renaissance artist, not the first re uh, woman painter uh, at all, but the first successful a woman painter uh, in art history. Um, in this case, Maria Lasnik, who has openly feminist uh, themes, uh, but moreover, she uh, painted self-portraits. She, she considered all of the, her pictures to be self-portraits, very much in the tradition of uh, the Medici collection of self-portraiture. Um, but then also, these are gendered uh, self-portraits. It's a lot about conflicts, gender conflicts, gender struggles. Uh, and uh, this way, we. Uh, were able to create an interesting tension between a 16th century nun uh, who did uh, what she actually wanted to do and then a 20th century uh, painter um, very much in line uh, stylistically with uh, artists such as Lucian Freud um, but um, then from a completely different perspective always brought back to her identity as a woman.